reason I have the gondola in frame here, you know, you see these guys, see people, see these cute couples rotting around, and then the guy is pulling them along, like singing to them. But here comes one right now, and he's pulling these people along, and he's singing to them. But what you need to understand is that he's not actually pushing anything. He's steering it, but the things are motorized. There's a little push pad on there that he pushes on. If you ever walk by, you'll see, in fact, I'll just try to zoom in on this one down here. It's plugged in. They've got little electric motors and little propellers underneath of them. Basically, all the gondolier does is sings and steers. <laughs> See you there? See that cable? That's plugged into that gondola right there. Sorry to take away some of the magic for some of you people, but I'm a maintenance guy. <laughs> kind of an engineering thing, and I have to find out how that kind of stuff works. So, I just want to say something here. I have no problem walking on the thing in front of people, walking down the strip, people walking by. I don't care the people sitting behind me right now. I don't care. I'm not embarrassed in the slightest. But I feel like a total knob when I take pictures of food. Why are you doing that? A total knob. I do. So speaking of us being married, so you know, we all, we just got married September 15th. I need to point out that I didn't really think this through very well because her birthday is August 31st and this woman will be expecting a birthday <laughs> present and an anniversary present. Yes, she sir. will not be hearing. This is a combined gift, honey. No, 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 no. no, not, no, no. I'm not fine. No. There better be two. Your birthday's a six. Very good. If you have been to Las Vegas and you like burgers, <laughs> you could legit eat a burger every meal the entire time you're here and never come close to eating at every burger place there is. There's so many and she won't let me eat at one for every meal. So, That's because I then would have to eat one at every meal. I'm not, she's not a burger love, person like I am. I like burgers, but I don't... I don't have to eat them every single meal I do. Because I can legit <laughs> eat a cheeseburger every day of my life. I don't mean just on vacation. I mean every day of my life. I am so cool. I'm not like, like a I'm shitty not, cold. I'm not happy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like that, that is like a whole level of how I felt that was out awesome. there. That was almost a bad experience. How we felt afterwards. We just have this mental note next time. If you go there, like, don't be like us and be like, oh, the, it's only $12, $13, $15. That's not bad. I'll just get my own meal. No, no, no. You need to compromise and get something that you both like and share it. Or you're going to feel like crap for an entire day. Because it's so good, you're like, oh, let's have one more bite. Yeah. Uh, let's have one more bite. I am so full, but that's so delicious. I'm just going to have one more bite. I don't even remember what we ended up eating after that. How are we doing? Doing good. Did you want me good. to wrap anything up for you all? Oh, gosh, no. We're leaving uh, tonight. Yeah, yeah. Oh, tonight. I'm thank sorry you. about that. We are, too. <laughs> I know. We are, too. Are you still working on it? I He's should, done. I should, no, get it out of here. Miss, okay, I'll take it. I do not want you to, like, no, because we'll just pop we'll a make button ourselves. and you're sick if we just keep eating and eating and eating. Uh, it's very good. I'm we glad did, to hear that. We did Hash House and Noble for breakfast Oh, love Hash House. Uh -huh. well, we were you're miserable the rest of the day. So we were so cool. <laughs> Honestly, you don't want to do anything. You don't even no. need, to need another meal. No, no. <laughs> no. We, we weren't hungry. We ate at like 11. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think it was today. See, yeah, you're full all day. I eat their uh, chicken and waffles. It's like a towel. Oh. Is it delicious? It's so oh. good, but is it's it? just so much food. I said next
first time we go there? This has been Morgan. Right She's been fantastic. Hello. <laughs> this is going to be our first YouTube video. Oh, exciting. I'm cool. glad to be a teacher. <laughs> If you have ever caught a red eye out of Vegas, then you know. We reached that point in the evening where we are just done. I'm gambled out. I'm walked out. I'm full. I, I'm just done. If, if I had a room, I would be more than happy to stay another night in Vegas. But we don't. And I would love to go up there and put my feet up for about oh, an hour. But I can't. Because now we've got to go catch our flight. We've got an hour before it really makes any sense at all for us to leave for the airport. And I'm, I'm just done. I mean, I, I would love to say I want to gamble some more, but they've gotten plenty of my money this week, plenty of hers. We've done okay. But I just don't feel like we're going to come out ahead if we just keep sticking it in. And there's no point in gambling. I, I, I mean, I know we don't, you don't come here to win, but I have money in my pocket. I'm walking, we're both going home with money in our pocket from gambling, yeah. which is a good thing. And I'm not gonna sit here and stick it back in the machine just for the sake of sticking it back in the machine. Um, oh, on the bad news front, Michelle did not get the bag she wanted from Michael Kors. It was 25% off yesterday. It was on sale yes. and it was 25 percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So today it would have been about an extra ninety dollars versus yesterday. So she just couldn't pull the trigger on it, and she's been in a pretty shitty mood ever since. See, she's a little spoiled when she doesn't get her way. She tends to get annoyed, but I love her anyway. And that is all we have to say. Yeah. For right it's a good now. I gotta weekend. stop doing that Forrest Gump shit. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> I mean for real, I have really gotta stop doing that. So two things. Look at the lens and stop being Forrest Gump. So we're signing off. We'll probably try to do a little uh, video from the airport. Depends on how tired and annoyed we are. Uh, but we realize if we really want to make a go of this, we gotta do this video thing whether we're really in the mood for it or not. So I hope everybody's enjoyed yeah. our videos, and uh, there's going to be more to come. So take care. Bye. So moved over to the sports book. I'm sitting in one of these nice cushy chairs. I'm carrying a bag around all day with spare clothes for her. She wanted to change into the uh, the travel stretch pants and stuff uh, before we head for home. I'd like to have another. I'm ready to get on the plane and go to sleep. I've never bought one of those neck pillows, but tonight's the night because we're flying Frontier, non-reclining seats. Let me point out, I'm six foot two. Frontier is not fantastic for anybody over four foot eleven. Uh, so I'm always crammed in there, but I gotta try to get some sleep. She doesn't sleep well on airplanes, and honestly, she gets annoyed when I sleep on the plane. But I have to sleep because I have to get her home safe in the morning. And it's going to be shitty rush hour traffic. We land at 6.30 in the morning in Cincinnati. It's going to be awful. So by the time we hit the road, get our luggage, get out of the car the par car park, it's going to be 7, 7.15. Dead nuts and then the little rush hour. It's going to suck. So I'm going to have to go the long way home around the city because going through Cincinnati is not an option. And hope there's no accidents because otherwise our hour and 15 minute drive home will turn into a three hour drive home. And then I might have her record me cussing and screaming at all the idiots around me. So we appreciate everybody watching uh, and we will be posting more.